morning, I'm Staff Sergeant Lisa Park and thank you for joining me for this instrument demonstration of the violin. The violin is the smallest string instrument and the way you play it is you hold it, you let it rest on your collarbone, you hold it here with your hand, shaped like this, and you play it with a bow. So you need both the bow and the violin to play the violin. Um, so let's take a look at the unique characteristics of a violin. It's very beautiful. It's made out of wood. It has a back and a front side to it. And sometimes this part of the violin is referred to as the body. You can think of it as a body. Sometimes I think of it as a face because um, sometimes I think it gives it a little bit more character. These cutouts right here, they're called F holes because they look like the lowercase f. Um, sometimes I imagine it's like somebody's mustache, and maybe this is the nose, you know. Um, but they're, they're actual technical terms. So this is called the chin rest, and this is where we put our jaw. I know it's a little bit of a misnomer. So the chin rest, we put our jaw. And um, this piece of wood at the bottom of the violin is called the tail piece. So it's like a wagging tail there. And this earlier, what I thought maybe was the nose, we call this the bridge. And if you look at it this way, it's got this beautiful curve to the violin. And similar to cars driving over a bridge to safely traverse the water, this bridge also helps us traverse the string safely without falling underneath. So. <laughs> That way we're safe from this area. This part, this, this black piece of wood is very hard and dense and this is called the fingerboard because this is where we tap our fingers. Now turning it back this way, um, if we think of this violin now as a body, this is called the shoulder. So the shoulder here is what we would clear when we're shifting upwards or playing high up in the stratospheres of the violin. You gotta clear the shoulder and then come back to the neck. This is the neck. This is where we generally hold the violin. So kind of like this is the body, this is the neck. Now this upper part where the head might be, if you turn it to the side, it's got this really beautiful design, kind of like rolled up manuscript paper. Um, and then these side th things, which maybe look like ears, these are called tuning pegs, and that's how we tune the strings to our liking. And your instrument, your instrument might have extra tuning um, uh, fine tuners, and that helps us get just the right pitch that we want. All right, so let's play the violin. So I love the violin. It has so many different versatile abilities. You can sing, you can dance, you can sound like a bird, you can sound like an elephant. So um, let's sound like a bird. You can sound like um, an elephant or sound some, like something very heavy or ominous. And you have everything in between. One of the most uh, singular things about the violin is it's very close to the human voice and so you can have beautiful long lines singing and you can have prancing about So it really, there's so much that you can do with the violin. And what enables that is this humble tool, which uh, is called the bow. And several hundred years ago, this bow um, existed in so many different cultures, but it was shaped in a convex shape, kind of like the, you know, the archery bow and arrow, you know, it was shaped like this. And that's how violinists played with that kind of bow. About mm, over 250 years ago, 
technology improved and um, makers discovered that having a concave shape to the modern bow would provide a stronger tension to be applied on the string and would produce therefore a louder volume. So not only can you have soft sounds, you also have the ability to be loud. So you can have much more um, range and volume. Uh, this, the bow is the equivalent of like your human lungs if you're a singer. How do you sing? You need to have breath capacity, right? You need to be able to hold your breath for a really long time. Let's try seeing how long you can hold your breath. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not a singer, but ready? Uh... And at some point, you're gonna run out of air and you're gonna have to breathe in in order to produce a beautiful sound again. So, but with a beautiful bow on a string instrument, you can transcend that limit. Um, you can create the illusion that your breath can go on for infinity. And so on. I could continue like that really for however long using a technique called sustenuto, so sustaining the bow with a legato stroke. So um, those are some of the things that I love most about the violin. It's so versatile. You've got this ability to transcend, you know, your normal physical limitations with lung capacity and you can access that extra special place that um, is almost like a superpower. You know, we love superheroes and superhero movies because we all admire people that um, have some special extraordinary ability. And with the bow, the violin allows you to feel that way too. So thanks for watching and have a great day.